What we have here is a structure of sodium chloride, also known as a rock salt structure. The colorless large spheres represent chloride ions. The blue small spheres represent uh, sodium ions. And what you can see is the cations are nestled in octahedral holes inside of a face-centered cubic lattice of anions. Now, if you actually work out the stoichiometry of this structure, you will uh, uh, you will find that you have an imbalance in the number of cations and anions. And we know sodium chloride has a one-to-one -one ratio of sodium ions to chloride ions. And this is because this structure doesn't actually show the true unit cell, the true repeating unit for sodium chloride. So to illustrate that, we move to a different model. Okay, and this model is a bit bigger. We have it shown here, okay. And you can see that we have uh, the true boundaries of this cubic unit cell that are slicing through various spheres, uh, connecting the centers of some of these spheres together. Okay, and we're going to uh, sort of unpack this, so to speak, and a uh, little of stoichiometry. Okay, so let me get this set up here. Um, we can take the unit cell for sodium chloride and essentially break it into three layers. And that's what I'm going to do here. The top layer we'll call the Z equals one layer. Okay, it has the very top surface of this cubic unit cell. So I'm gonna flip this down here. Okay, and the middle layer is a Z equals one half layer. I'll pull this one aside, okay? And the bottom layer is, there, layer is the z equals zero layer. And you can see that these are essentially the same structure, okay? The z equals zero has to be equal to the z equals one layer because the unit cell has to be able to translate upward and repeat the structure upward to generate the, as part of producing the entire three-dimensional structure. Okay, and so let me just take a look at one of these layers here. Okay, and uh, what do we have here? Well, we have, with respect to sodium, okay, we have these cations along the edges of the cube and so only, only a quarter of these ions are within the unit cell. Okay, so in this layer, we have four, one, two, three, four, times one quarter of a sodium. And that gives us one sodium, okay? And what we also have are the chlorides represented by the white spheres here, okay? And we have within the corners, we have only one eighth of a sphere inside of this cubic unit cell from each ion in the corner, okay? And there are four corners in this, in this level. And so we have four times one eighth chloride, okay? But we also have this ion here whose center is along the bottom face, the z equals zero layer, z equals zero layer. And so what we also have is one of these in this layer multiplied by one half chloride, okay? And so four times an eighth is a half, plus one times a half, that's another half here, and so that's one chloride. So on this layer, Z equals zero, 
we have a one-to-one -one stoichiometry, okay? Uh, for the Z equals one layer, it's the same thing, okay? So Z equals one is same as Z equals zero. And so we have one sodium and one chloride. Okay, so now let's look at the Z equals one half layer. So pull this aside and I'll put in the Z equals one half layer. Okay, um, so the plane is represented by this, this clear um, sheet here, or this plate, okay, Z equals one half plane. And I have parts of spheres above and parts of spheres below this particular plane, okay? And so again, let's focus on the sodium. This time, these sodiums here, they're in the corners of this layer, but remember this layer is not at the top or the bottom of the unit cell, it's going through the middle of the unit cell. So instead of having just an eighth, what we really have is a quarter of this ion within this unit cell. And so what we have are four times one quarter sodium. Okay? What we also have is a sodium entire sodium ion in the middle of the unit cell. The whole ion is there. Okay? And so to this, I add one whole, or one whole sodium ion. And so this gives me two sodium ions, okay? And so what about the chlorides, okay? So again, this is the sodium, all right? And for the chloride, what we have are ions that are centered in the faces of the unit cell. There's one here, 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 on these four faces, okay? And as you can see, there's half of a sphere of each of those ions within the boundaries of the unit cell. And I have four of these ions, so I have four times one half chloride gives me two total chloride ions, okay? So adding this all up for the Z equals zero, the Z equals one, and the Z equals one half, what I have are four sodium ions and four chloride ions and simplifying this down to the smallest whole number ratio, we get NaCl, which we all know is a formula for sodium chloride. So that's the interconnection between the structure of the unit cell and the uh, stoichiometry of the ions in the sodium chloride.